guys, welcome to this uh, set of tutorials about uh, Reason Studios and how to use it for a live setup. Uh, this is part one, and the goal of this series is uh, essentially to create a live setup with Reason where you can play multiple instruments uh, with uh, one or more keyboards. Uh, this inv will involve some uh, MIDI mapping, most importantly, uh, which we're going to do with MIDI loopback ports. Um, so in this first uh, in this first part, we are going to uh, map a single instrument, uh, for example, an NXT or Thor. Uh, we're going to map it to a physical MIDI keyboard. Uh, we'll be using this uh, this keyboard here, the Novation Lounge key. Um, so what I want to start with is uh, is a small diagram that explains uh, how this mapping is done. Um, so what you see here is uh, in green, our MIDI keyboard, so the, the physical keyboard I'm talking about. And then we have Reason um, and we have Loop MIDI. Loop MIDI is a program written by Tobias Ericsson. Uh, it's available for Windows, but uh, there is also a comparable program uh, for, uh, for Mac OS, or it's already built in to Mac OS maybe. Um, so how, it, how does it work? Uh, we have our physical MIDI keyboard here. Um, we are going to, uh, uh, in Reason, uh, create an external instrument and select uh, select this external inst external instrument to play with. Uh, this the MIDI from this external instrument will be mapped to a loopback port created in Loop MIDI, and this loopback port will then be mapped to a virtual keyboard. And uh, it's a control service in Reason, so that's very much like a, a physical keyboard, uh, but it's it's virtual. And then we are going to lock the virtual instrument that we're going to create. We're going to lock it to our virtual keyboard. Uh, this all sounds a bit complicated because you can also in Reason just select this virtual instrument uh, and start playing with it, and it also works. Um, so for it. Um, but if we want to play with multiple instruments, uh, it involves clicking to uh, to select between different instruments, and that's what we want to avoid. So this is our first step towards that setup. So the first step is to install Loop MIDI. Uh, it's very easy to find it online. Uh, I have already installed it, and you see it here. Uh, so when you open Loop MIDI for the first time, it will look empty. Uh, there are no uh, loopback ports. So we're going to create one port, and in uh, future tutorials we're going to create some more ports. I'm going to call this loopback1, click on the plus button, and it will show up in the list. Now the next step is to go to a Reason, uh, where we have an empty document, and uh, we are going to create uh, a combinator here with, um, let's see, utilities combinator and in this combinator we're going to create an external instrument so we go to utilities uh, reason devices no no, no uh, instruments reason devices and then we see external MIDI instruments um, so this external MIDI instrument uh, we're going to map it to our loopback port so if you click here you see a list of physical devices that you have um, let's see, we have a lounge control, which is this uh, uh, this one here. Uh, we have a lounge key, that's this Novation. Uh, we have uh, even my sound card, Focusrite. We have the EMU export, which is this big keyboard here. And we have a loopback port. Uh, so I'm going to select loopback one. And uh, that's it for now for this combinator. I'm going to call this uh, external instruments. Uh, the next step is to uh, to go to edit preferences and then we are going to have a look at our control services. Uh, what you can see here is a list of control services that you have already uh, added uh, in Reason. So these are all your physical devices. And we're going to add a new control service, which will be a virtual device. And so uh, in uh, manufacturer, you just select other because it's not a brand or anything. We're going to select MIDI keyboard, no controls, because we only want to be mapping the keys 
uh, that we're going to be playing with, not any knobs or buttons. So I'm going to call this virtual keyboard one, and the MIDI input will be lab, uh, will be uh, uh, loopback one. So loopback one is the uh, is the loopback port that we just created in Loop MIDI. Uh, what you see here is that uh, this currently is selected as my master keyboard. Uh, that's what we don't want because we cannot do any uh, uh, surface locking with master keyboard. So I'm going to say use no master keyboard and then none of my devices is actually a master keyboard, which is fine uh, because we want to do all the mapping of which devices place is played by which uh, control surface. We want to do it manually. So I'm going to close this. And then we're going to create our actual instrument. Um, well, I prepared some nice uh, Venus strings for this. Uh, so I'm just going to drag it here. And if I start playing, let's see, I should be hearing some nice strings. Well, that's very lovely. Um, now, uh, this keyboard, my keyboard is playing with this, uh, these strings because I have selected here in the uh, in the rack. Now, if I select my combinator, uh, it won't be playing anything. See, you won't hear anything. So, well, uh, one step we are still missing is to lock uh, this these nice strings to a virtual keyboard. So we are going to lock virtual keyboard one to this device. And then if we start playing here, we should be hearing the strings. So how does it work? It works because we have created an external MIDI instrument, which is mapped to our loopback port in loop MIDI. And this loopback port is then mapped to a virtual keyboard that we have created in the uh, control services. And this virtual keyboard is locked to the Venus string. So if this virtual keyboard is playing, um, it is uh, playing these strings. So that's it for the first tutorial, um, or for the first part of this uh, set of tutorials. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to add an additional instrument. Ah, here's my uh, my lovely cat, say hello. She loves to play the keyboard, of course. <laughs> uh, she also wants food. Anyway, um, in part two, we're going to uh, uh, add more instruments. Uh, we're going to add more loopbacks and we're going to look at key mapping so we can use the same keyboard to play different, uh, for example, to use the left part of the keyboard for a bass line and the right part of the keyboard for a uh, for a lead synth or the, the strings that we just created. And also we're going to look at enabling and disabling these instruments while playing. That's it for this tutorial. <laughs>